In the past couple of months, I remade several NSMDS bosses for my own fan game called Super Smashy Maker. For this video, I remade another one, the Mummy Pokey. We'll go over the process of me building this prototype, so keep in mind that everything shown is still early into development. Also make sure to like and subscribe if you end up enjoying the video. Let's go! Before recreating the actual boss, I first started remaking the normal Pokies, of course. Let's quickly go over it. As we know from past Mario titles, Pokies exist out of multiple segments. In Mario Maker 2, the builder of the stage can choose the amount of segments going from a minimum of 2 to a maximum of 8. For Smashy Maker, I also made it possible to only place down the head, so one segment only. After that, I added a hitbox because touching these enemies can be pretty painful. Then I made them move, but as you can see, something feels off here. They aren't wiggling. I started adding that wiggly movement to the segments to make the Pokey feel more authentic, and after a couple of attempts, I got a pretty good recreation. Afterwards, I added some more needed things like turning when hitting a wall, and not to forget the snow variant. Let's now move on to the actual Mummy Pokey, who was a bit more difficult to recreate. Before I could start recreating this awesome boss, I had to analyze his behavior. Upon entering the arena, the Mummy Pokey digs out of the ground, revealing he is made out of exactly 5 segments, including his head. Just like normal Pokies, this boss variant is very prickly and damages Mario upon contact. Apart from that, he can also spit stones towards Mario, which hurt him too. Depending on some RNG, the Mummy Pokey digs back into the ground, after which he comes back up at a random spot with most of the time less segments. Once he is on the surface, he will move around for a short period of time. This gives the player the chance to actually jump on him. If Mario successfully hits the Mummy Pokey, he will also dig back into the sand. Like most other bosses in Mario games, the Mummy Pokey dies after being hit three times. Let's now take a look at how I recreated him. My awesome community helped me out with good sprites for the Mummy Pokey, looking like this at first. During the process of building him though, I switched the sprites to these, so keep that in mind. Once again sprites of high quality. To begin, I simply replaced the normal Pokey sprites with the Mummy Pokey ones, and I thought it looked pretty good. After that I added the ability to jump off of his head, which is of course needed to damage him. The digging ability is obviously the most important feature of this boss, so I started working on that next. At first I simply made him appear out of the ground like this. Here he kept flying up for a bit, but after a quick fix we got to this. That looked good already, but it also needed some more detail to make it more obvious he is digging upwards. So to make it look better, I added a simple effect for when he is digging and was pretty satisfied with the result. Next up, I started working on a spit attack. For that I used these sprites and gave them a damaging hitbox. At first, it seemed a bit bland, so I added a small animation to the outer part of the shop making it look more dynamic. The stone needs to be shot from the head of the Mummy Pokey of course, so I added that functionality as well. As you can see here, he was shooting a lot of stones in quick succession and there was still a lot to be done here. Oh and here is what it looks like when the Pokey shoots a stone every single frame. To be honest it's pretty cool, but not what we want. After that, I made the shot destroy itself after colliding with ground or walls and added a small effect alongside it. Next I got in some simple functionality to make the shot rotate towards the player when instantiated. Here is a funny bug I had when setting the speed of the shot too. Seems pretty fair to the player, doesn't it? When that was done, the boss was starting to look quite good already. When Mario comes within 5 blocks of the Mummy Pokey, he digs out of the ground, stands still for a second, shoots Mario and starts moving into his direction. To make the fight more dynamic, I added some RNG to the shot too, so he doesn't shoot all the time. I did make him shoot more than the original boss though, since that one is way too easy to defeat. Now our Mummy Pokey can dig up, move and shoot, but we cannot forget the digging down. With some more coding, I added in a bit more RNG which is cited when the Mummy Pokey starts digging back into the ground. As we can see in the original boss fight, he sometimes almost immediately digs back into the ground after coming up, which is also possible now. The digging effect also gets played for digging down of course. At this point in the process of recreating him, I got some improved sprites for the Mummy Pokey as I mentioned before, so I replaced them. I also changed the sprites for the shot and digging down effect, which now look a bit more like the original with small batches of sand spawning in. Now that that was done, the Mummy Pokey looked very nice and his functionality was working well. I added in some more code for him to pick a random spot in between two points for him to dig back up after digging down. In the original game though, the Mummy Pokey pops up with a random amount of segments, so not always 5 like we have now. Yes, with even more RNG, the game now decides how much segments pop up every time he resurfaces. This makes the fight even better. Before we move on to the next part, I also improved the shot a little bit. At first it was possible for the Pokey to shoot in literally all directions, but that's not really fair to the player when he is attempting to jump on the enemy. So I made a small dead zone in which he can't shoot above his head, making it a better gaming experience. So right now, our Pokey can basically do anything that's needed. 
but Mario of course has to be able to defeat him by jumping on his head three times, which doesn't do anything at the moment. What we want is for the Pokey to dig back into the ground whenever he is hit. That's exactly what I added, along with a hit animation on a Pokey hit, making him look a bit startled. After that, the process just repeats itself until we hit him for the third time. Here, I tested out a couple of things for his death animation. At first, I attempted a simple particle effect, which plays right after the third hit, but it looked a bit off. So instead, I just went with the Mario Maker 2 solution and made all the segments fall down and rotate, which looked way better. The eyes of the Pokey disappear as well, indicating his death even more. A Mummy Pokey fight wouldn't be an actual boss fight without a good replica of the arena. Luckily enough, one of my Discord members built an awesome recreation for me to use looking like this. Let's now take a look at a full fight against this prototype Mummy Pokey. That's gonna be it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and feel free to drop your suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.